episode 1183, Give and Take. It's time to train for life and love your journey. In this episode of Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, you'll learn new ways to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew your mind, body, and spirit. Please welcome your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. It is the weekend. You made it through the week. It is now Saturday. It's Relationship Builders Day. And are you ready to build a strong foundation in your marriage? Are you ready to get it sizzling back where it needs to be? Maybe even to the point of when you used to be dating. Well, it's all about give and take. For those of you who are brand new to Create You Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and to sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. Well, why does marriage have to be so complicated? because you know it is, right? Give and take is a lot easier to say than it is to do. How can you give more than you take anyway? Because taking is so much more rewarding to yourself. I mean, seriously, think about it. Who are we kidding? Didn't we marry each other to take from one another? Now take a moment here and really process the idea of give and take. What does that mean to give and take? Because when you were dating, I guarantee you, it wasn't about equal, equal. It wasn't about 50% in and 50% out. You know, I give this much, you give that much. Man, when you got a phone call and said, hey, I need you, you were there. You found a way. It didn't matter how many hours you worked that day or how many more tests you had to study for. You found a way to get there. You would walk there in the snow. I, you're laughing already and smiling. And now you're like, oh, we're married. Oh. Hun, you just find a way. I'm too tired. I- I'm just done. Give and take. I listen to so many whines and groans and complaints about my marriage isn't working. I just don't get it. What is wrong? And yes, some are legitimate concerns. They really are concerns. But if you listen to the underlining fuss, the tone of the voice is, what about me? What about me? If you are being selfish in your marriage, and it's easy to be that. I was. I didn't realize that I was, but I was being selfish. Your marriage cannot survive when things go the wrong directions, when they get bad, like in finances or job, children even, health. Your marriage won't be able to survive. It just won't. When you think about give and take, take implies what? Expectancy. If I'm going to give, then I'm going to take. So I'm expecting something in return. If I give, then you too will do it in return. So I get to take. Whoa, yes, that sounds like a great relationship. We kind of did that when we were dating. I like that. So why not say I do and everything still continue to work that way? But the problem is, is that when we were dating, we didn't have the day-to-day responsibilities and obligations of children, of a house whether we own it or rent it, of a car, insurance, job opportunities, or sometimes not job opportunities, changes in seasons, because honestly, you experienced life a little bit differently. The only part where your life connected, interconnected, intertwined when you were dating is when you were actually together. Now, let me give you an example of that. My husband and I, we dated for three and a half years. For the majority of those three and a half years, we were apart from each other. Interesting that we are now, we will have been married 25 years coming up this August. Crazy, crazy long. That means we've been together 28 and a half years coming up. That's even crazier thinking about it. That's more than probably half your age. And you think about all the time that you spent. We did not spend a lot of time together. Yes, we talked on the phone. Remember, this was pre-cell phones, pre-texting. We had to do the old-fashioned write a letter, mail it, snail mail. 
And it was great because I would get two to three pages. Yes, my husband loved to write and I appreciated it. I got the little cassette that had all the songs, you know, oh, hun, this is what I think about when I think about you. And so when I'm there in my day or whatever, I could stick it in and put it in that cassette recorder because, you know, CDs were coming about, but they weren't really in on the hip side quite then when we were dating. I know that definitely dates us. That means I'm old. But I think we need to put ourselves back when and look at when we were dating versus when we're married. Dating was when we can come together, we are together. But when we went about our own separate ways, most of us probably had our own friends. Maybe some of them were friends of each other's. But we lived kind of a separate life until we decided, okay, this is a full commitment. We're all in. Now, some of you, maybe you ended up moving in before you got married. For others of you, you said, no, I'm going to be very traditional and we're not going to get married or we're not going to move in until we get married. It doesn't matter what end of the spectrum you're in or on. Basically, what you're looking at is you're saying, I was giving and taking. I got both sides. And in dating, yeah, you did. Why? Because you were trying to impress him and he was trying to impress you. Think about it. That's what happens when we date. But then you get the I do. And the honeymoon phase begins to fade away. It's not so much fun anymore when you're having to pay the bills every month and you're looking at it going, man, this money, I've got to stretch it further than it needs to go. The give and take, that take now becomes an expectancy. Why? Because you got it somewhat when you were dating. So you're thinking, I should still continue. If I give, they're going to give. Oh, but then the true colors come out, don't they? And we get really relaxed. And we say, okay, he's got me and I've got him. Woohoo! I don't have to work it anymore. And we let all the good, the bad, and the ugly hang out. If you want an incredible, meaningful, fulfilling, loving marriage, give without expectancy. It's got to be a part of your vocabulary translated into your actions. Think about it. The give must stand out in your response daily. Or at least it should be. Building a strong foundation starts with give and receive. That is your kiss, the keep it simple strategy. Give and receive. Notice what has been removed from the statement. It's no longer give and take, is it? No, it's give and receive. When you give, 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 eventually you will receive. Now, there are always exceptions to that because you're going to have seasons in your life that you give more than you receive, but you can't keep score. And yes, there should be giving from your spouse. Most definitely. I get it when people come and they say, gosh, I'm giving everything and I'm not getting anything in return. And it's not that I'm expecting it. Yes, deep down we are. Okay. That, that's our human nature. That's our fault. We give, we expect to get. We want to take. But instead, if we look at it from another point of view and receive, it's a different perspective. It can change our thought patterns. It can change our emotions. Yes, there should be giving from both spouses in a marriage. That's what makes a very fulfilling marriage. Because if you don't, eventually it will lead to a very toxic marriage. Now, we're not going to get into those specific details right now and understand each marriage is different. Each relationship is unique. So if you're listening to this and you're saying, wait a minute, I need help with my marriage specifically. There are marriages out there that are suffering every single day. People are reaching out to me going, Christiane, I don't know what to do. I need help. I need direction. I need some guidance. I need some tools. Help me figure this out. I've talked to people, but they're just like, oh, pray about it. Oh yeah, you got to be in touch with God. Most definitely. 
But there is more to that. If you are listening and you're saying, I need help, click on the link, take aim in the show notes. Let's set up a call. You and me, it's my gift to you. There is no charge for this call. You get to experience coaching and you get to be able to have the opportunity to impact your marriage. It's a win-win on both sides. So be daring today to build your strong foundation for your marriage and click on that link, take aim in the show notes. Because no one should have a toxic marriage. And yes, unfortunately, there are toxic relationships out there all the time. And some, yes, I 100% agree that divorce needs to happen, separation needs to occur. But a lot of our marriages are, well, it's convenient, so I'm just going to go to the attorney and I'm just going to get a little piece of paper and I'm, I'm done with you. It doesn't work like that because if you get into another relationship, you're carrying other things with you. So again, every marriage, every relationship is unique. If you want to chat about this, I want to help you. Click on that link, take aim, and that will begin our conversation. So I want you to think about give and receive. Putting a different perspective on it. Because if you give, 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 eventually you'll receive, it's going to happen. But again, you cannot be keeping score. Just think, if Jesus kept score on us, who would win every time? Not you and definitely not me. So lead by example. Give more and receive with gratitude. You see that word receive implies gratitude, gratefulness. It also builds that up. And when you get that moment, it draws you what closer? Your marriage is more intimate. And I'm not just talking about the three-letter word S-E-X and all that jazz. No, I'm talking about an intimate relationship that's much deeper than, hey, I love you. Have a great day at work. If that's where your marriage is right now, that it's just the kind of same old repetitive statements over and over again, give and receive probably isn't working right now for you. It's more give and take. You're just doing and saying, but you're really not living the way God intended marriage to be. Lead by example, give more and receive with gratitude. Show your love with unconditional actions and responses. That's love. It's the unconditional part of it. We can't sit here and say, okay, if you do all of these and meet all of these requirements, then you're going to get this. Did God put that on our eternal salvation? No, he did not. He did not say, if you do all of these things and check these off, because you know what? None of us would ever get there and heaven would be empty. Are you feeling empty in your marriage today? Are you feeling like, gosh, darn it. Why? Why are we in this position? I don't want you questioning. I want you to go to the Lord in prayer. And I want you to start changing the mindset that you have and how you're living out your own journey in your marriage as a couple. Give and receive with gratitude. Give more and receive with gratitude. I promise you, God will bless you. Is it going to be easy? By golly, no, it will not. I'm not going to sit here and say it's easy. There are days that I wake up and I'm thinking, Oh, Lord, give me the strength. And I pray that. I'm like, I just don't know if I can take this. And it's funny. We've gone through a, you know, our storm when we separated and he told me he had fallen out of love. My life ended. It was like an outer body experience. I, it's hard to explain and even put into words. But it was at that moment in time, I was like, oh my gosh. But I began to look at things differently. And so through our storm, we came out on the other side. We reconciled. Hence, we will have been married 25 years this August. Yes, we are more in love than ever. But does it come easy now? No. However, we know each other even better that when he makes 
kind of a mistake. And it's not really a mistake. It's just him being him. And I'm sitting there going, I can't believe you just did that. Really? You just did that. Then he sits there and he actually makes fun of himself. And we laugh about it. Because he knows that I know that this is really kind of crazy, stupid, whatever. That's his way of owning it. And we're able to then not gloss over it, but we've recognized it, acknowledged it, and we move on. It doesn't become that little P that adds up. And so, you know, the princess and the P story where the P is underneath and then she couldn't sleep forever because she still felt it. Yeah, well... What happens over time? You get too many little peas and you end up with what? Bitterness. More than a toxic marriage. That's not where God wants you. Give and take, no more. Give more and receive with gratitude. So how will you give to your husband today? What will you do for him? Unconditional love given with your heart filled with joy. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.